Many of us like to think that we are in control of our lives, our situations, that we have dominion over technology and nature. Leave the World Behind is one such movie which aims to shatter that illusion. I'm Stephen Archbald and welcome to my movie podcast. valued listener and welcome to my podcast they came from within cult movie reviews it's the end of the world as we know it leave the world behind 2023 directed by sam esmail leave the world behind is the latest in a line of sophisticated apocalyptic thrillers it is based on ruman alum's acclaimed novel from 2020. A movie version of this fatalistic tale was inevitable, partly down to the fact that the 44th US president had it on his summer reading list in 2021. Oh, and this film was executive produced by Barack and Michelle Obama through their higher ground production company. Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke star as Amanda and Clay Sandford, a middle-class, liberal, New York couple who decide to take a vacation on Long Island, renting out a swanky house for themselves and their two children, Archie and Rose. But almost from the get-go, things start to become very strange. En route, Amanda sees an unfriendly man desperately stack up his car with tinned food and bottles of water. And then, while the Sanfords are at the beach, an oil tanker suddenly runs ashore. Also, the TV and Wi-Fi soon start playing up in their rental home. Further still, on their first night there, an elegantly dressed man called George H. Scott turns up with his college-aged daughter, Ruth, claiming it's their house and that a blackout in Manhattan has forced them to return home. Clay is friendly and trusting towards the strangers. Conversely, the cynical and wary Amanda is far from civil with them. However, a series of far more sinister events soon occur. Dangerous enough to force everyone to see beyond their prejudices and biases in order to stand any chance of finding a means to survive. The wonderful Julia Roberts was one of this movie's producers. In fact, Denzel Washington was also supposed to be among the production team and the cast. It is a pity that Julia and Denzel did not get to work together again since they starred in the Pelican Brief back in 1993. Still, the role of G. H. Scott went to the equally terrific Mahershala Ali instead. On the subject of early 1990s link-ups, Kevin Bacon also stars in Leave the World Behind. Julia and Kevin were in the original version of Flatliners back in 1990. Here, Bacon plays G. H. Scott's fearsome neighbour Danny, the same man a man had seen, fiercely loading up his vehicle. And even though he is the personification of charm in real life, if you want to hire an actor who's brilliant at giving off a sinister vibe, then Kevin's your man. Naturally, you will find strong echoes of other disaster movies in Leave the World Behind. But two films, in particular, spring to mind. In terms of its look and delivery, 
The film is reminiscent of Bird Box from 2018, but as a tale which slowly builds up tension and shows nature running amok, it has a similar tone and feel to Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds from 1963. There are a couple of unnerving scenes which feature a herd of deer and another in which a large number of flamingos fill a swimming pool. Something unnatural to them, but that's sort of the point. But to add to the mystery and disorientation, electrical and mechanical devices go haywire too. One of the most startling being the sight of countless Teslas crashing into one another. Amanda's preteen daughter Rose, who's played by Farrah McKenzie, is a huge fan of the sitcom Friends. Julia Roberts not only made an appearance in it, she also briefly dated one of its stars, Matthew Perry, who died in tragic circumstances on the 28th of October last year, at the age of 54. This movie was first unveiled to the world at the AFI Fest just three days before his passing. G. H. Scott's daughter Ruth is portrayed by the Californian actress Myhala Herald. She first made her mark in the BBC and HBO drama series Industry before appearing in the well-received comedy horror flick Bodies, Bodies, Bodies in 2022. Myhala gives a cool, confident performance in this film. She mesmerises Amanda and Clay's hormonal teenage son Archie, who's portrayed by Charlie Evans, who looks almost identical to the young John Travolta when he appeared in the 1970s sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. This film deals with race and society, in both direct and indirect ways. For example, the tanker which crashes onto the beach is called the White Lion. This was the name of the first ship to deliver African slaves to the colonies. This happened in the year 1619. And 1619 is the radio frequency which is used in Clay's car. Julia Roberts had previously worked with the director, Sam Esmail, on the first series of the fine psychological drama, Homecoming, which came out on Amazon Prime Video in November 2018. Esmail was also one of the executive producers of the 2022 political drama series, Gaslit, which starred Julia as Martha Mitchell. Esmail, who first came to fame creating Mr. Robot, makes a cameo appearance in this movie as a dead pilot called, well, Captain Esmail. Leave the World Behind was filmed in various New York locations, mainly Long Island and Katona, and it was shot in the April and May of 2000 and 22. The film was released by Netflix on the 8th of December 2023, receiving largely favourable reviews. Its deliberate pace may put off some, but Leave the World Behind remains an absorbing, thoughtful piece. I'm Stephen Archibald, and thank you very much for listening to my podcast. They came from within, cult movie reviews. All of my episodes are available from most podcast hosts, and you can even follow me if you choose. Take good care of yourself, make the most of the world, and goodbye for now. Mm-hmm.